Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and don't worry, we're not away yet, we're not finished yet. I told you, I promised you that we would finish the first season of this and as there is no news, nothing new today to talk about in relation to the real life Celtic, let's get back in and let's get closer to finishing the season of the virtual Celtic, the Ryan Fitzsimons Celtic, yes. Welcome back to And Out 118 in. Right then, it's a pleasure to welcome you all back to Football Manager. It has been a while, and do you know what? I've actually missed this. I've been dying to jump back on and play it. I've just not had the time that I would usually like to sit and dedicate into playing some Football Manager. And it's been so long since the last episode that I've actually kind of forgot myself where we are and what we've done. But I must be honest with you, um, we're not off to a great start today because uh, we actually lost... <laughs> I just played this game off camera and we've lost to St Mirren. Our third loss of the league campaign to at St Mirren Park. We can't win there. We just can't. It is the bogey team. We cannot win. Our three losses in the league this season have came at St Mirren twice and at Ibrox. We are still six clear ahead of Rangers, but they have closed the gap because of our loss to St Mirren at the weekend. But right now, that isn't the priority, I would say. Yes, we want to win the league title, but we are in the last 16 of the Europa League. We have a huge opportunity to go and bring European silverware to Celtic. Rangers are still in the competition as well. They take on Rennes in the next round, but we play Braga today. That's going to be today's episode. We're going to play both legs of that last 16 tie. And if you look around the competition, there is a lot of beatable teams in here still. We could go and make a good run for this in the Europa League. I mean, if we're losing games to St Mirren, then maybe not. But listen, it happens. You slip up. Look at our, look at our record. It's been unbelievable. You look at where the losses have come in the middle of such great form, we were good and we were unlucky in the Champions League not to make it to the last 16, and then that last episode was just obscene, the the stories, the, 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 the everything from that Europa League knockout playoff tie against Betis, effectively the old last 32, we were unbelievable, a 5-2 aggregate win, it sees us through, and I think we've got an easier opposition in Braga, but we are at home first, so we can't sleep on them, we need to make sure we get a good result, right now they're second, in the Portuguese, they're actually joint top of the Portuguese Premier League, which is quite insane, to say the least, so we're not taking on any mugs here, let's see any players are recognised, Andre Horta right away, Vitinha, of course, some, some players that I do recognise in, in and around this squad, but we need to get a big result. In terms of transfers, the biggest bit of news is Dyson Maida will leave the club. Yes, £9 million is the fee. He will join Dynamo Zagreb next season. Listen, he was unhappy. He's came on to a bit of form. To, to be fair to him, he has... Look, he's, by the way, his technical stats are rotten in this. But he's came on to a bit of form. He's actually been quite good as of late, but he's unhappy. I don't play him as much. I've decided, you know what, let's just leave him in the reserves for the rest of the season and get him his move away. Because we've got so many good players who are coming in and out. Abada, uh, Garnacho, obviously, Haxa, Jota. This is the team, obviously, we've got kind of familiar with and used to. Maida's just not getting into it at the minute. And you know what, I thought it was better that we, that we let him go. Callum McGregor. Might not be back in time for this Braga game. Very annoying, but it is what it is. We're just going to have to try. Of course, he missed the Betis tie, um, but we're just going to have to try and get on without him. Anyway, not much else to catch up on. If you have forgot what's happened, go and check out the last episode, but we're right back into things. We're going to finish off this season, I promised you that, and then we'll discuss the future of it when we get to the end. But anyway, um, I was scouting this lad here, Isaac Hansen Aaron from Manchester United. He's on loan to Rotherham at the minute and I have him in an AC Milan save and I really like him. So I was thinking, you know, I might have a look at him, maybe bring him to Celtic, but next season we'll see if there's a potential of a loan move if, if we need him. He's more of a defensive midfielder for my AC Milan side and I feel like it could be useful, but he's on loan just now anyway. Only 18, room for development. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, it's time. We are about to take on Braga in the last 16 of the Europa League. It's the first leg at Celtic Park. Of course, we do have some registration issues um, because of my terrible recruitment. So we'll make some changes, of course, to the bench. But in terms of the team that we're going to play, it's going to remain most the same. I'd love to get McGregor back in, but he's not quite ready. So we are going to have to trust O'Reilly sitting at that ball-winning midfielder role once again. See, I'm playing them as as, as kind of CDMs, Hitati and O'Reilly, and, and they're not really natural there, but they've been doing a job, to say the least. I know, we're, once again, bad result against St Mirren, but they've been doing a job and obviously worked against Betis. I'm sure this has been that long, I can't remember if this is what I played against Betis, but um, yeah, I'm going to make a couple of changes. I'm going to put Jota on the left, and I'm actually going to bring 
a bad on to start today. And that's going to be the team to, to, to start this first leg at Celtic Park. Why am I dropping Haxa? Because Jota had such a good game against Betis in the second leg. He basically got us here. And that was a, a really good performance. And I think if we want the best out of him, we should play him in his natural position. But that's it. That's my team. Here is the team sheets out now. This is very exciting. We I want to win this Europa League. Here's the side uh, for Arthur Hoggy and Braga. Matias it goes for Fabiano Souza, Tormina, Paulo Riviera, Nuno Sakira, Fabio Martins, Uros Rakic, Ratchic, Ali Almas Ratti, Andre Horta, Simon Banza or Simon Banza and Vitinha. Some players on the bench that can definitely deal with the damage. They are currently top joint top of the Portuguese Premier League, but we are six clear at the top of the Scottish Premier League. So let's get this done. Let's do it. We can do this. Let's put St. Mirren ahead. That's a big away support we've given them, by the way, and the very unrealistic looking <laughs> Celtic Park. But there's their team. 4 2 3 1, as we know. Let's just see what Braga are playing. They're going 4 4 2, which could could be a handful. It could be. But I think, you know, we've had some good luck playing against 4 4 2s this season. And I'm hoping that's the same. And right away, we're off to a highlight. Juranovic crosses it in. Jota tries to meet it. It's headed away. Hitati tries to gather. Braga will try and calm it down. Come on, put some pressure on them. Put some pressure right back to us. That's it. Just take our time with it. If they want to rush their decisions, hit the ball up the park. That is absolutely fine by me. I'll fucking take that. Hitati rips the scans off him, but it's a terrible pass. <laughs> Um, and it's a bit of a, a sloppy game by the seams of things. Passing back and forth between two teams. There's a badder. Great ball for Jota, though. This is why he had to start on the left-hand side. I told you he has to start on the left-hand side, you gorgeous bastard. Come here, he's a smooch. Mwah. Love that. Come on, one nil up. In the we're only two minutes in, and we're one nil up against Braga in the last 16 Europa League. Look at this for a pass, though. A badder shuffling off Sahira. Great ball over the top. Jota with a touch and a finish. What a fantastic position to be in. Only two minutes into the tie. I, I told you, Braga was one of the more favourable draws, I feel. Um, I don't want to get over it. I'm not saying it's done, because we're up 1-0 inside three minutes. But, it's certainly, we need a good result at Parkhead to take away from home. So, I'd like to win 2-3, 4-0 if possible. Um, but, no highlights since the goal. I should probably shut my mouth. Uh, that's probably probably my own fault for, um, for, for opening it. Here we go. Come on, another goal, boys. Abada, Juranovic, good be pass it to Moy. Unal finds Jota again. <sighs> Jota's on flames, boys. Jota is the man on form. Hatati, here's Jota again. Plays through Unal, top scorer for us at the moment. Here he is, cutting inside. <sighs> Strikes it, but right at the keeper. Makes it a corner for us. We're playing really well. Here's Moy to swing it. Good ball, cleared. Vickers, oh here, shoot Abada, shoot! Oh, what a save for the keeper! And Abada does keep it in, but that was a massive, massive chance. We could have and should have been up 2-0 there, I think. Abada, good save from the keeper. Can't really argue with it. And it looks as though we will be going into half-time at 1-0. Should probably be 2, at least, with the chances that we've had. But um, not an awful lot of separating the stats-wise. So I know we're capable of better. I'm going to keep that team going for the, the start of the second. Here's Moy. Come on, that's a penalty. That's got to be a penalty. The referee has pointed to the spot. It's been given no VR checks. Juran this is very quick. Juranovic puts it in. We're 2-0 up. What a position to be in. Josip Juranovic. He might be off in real life, but he's still here. He's always here for us in Football Manager. Buries it. Keeper gets the right way. Just didn't get down in time. 2-0 up. Go right at the start of the first. Go right at the start of the second. We started both halves with the intention to head through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Brilliant from Juranovic. And I, honestly, I thought there was going to be a VER check, but okay. I'm not going to argue, ref. Love you, mate. Thanks. Hitati, what a ball. Shot, I finish it. Finish the tie. That's it. That is good. I'm, I'm going to just say it now. I, I'm, going to, I'm just going to say it right now. We have got to be through. We've got to be through. Like, how can we mess this up now? We're 3-0 up, and this game's not done. I'm getting ahead of myself. Shut the fuck up, Ryan. What a finish from Jota. We have started the second half with intent. My halftime team talk wasn't even that inspirational, man. Maybe I maybe I sleekly promised them some Silvio Berlusconi hookers or something like that. 3-0 <laughs> up. Keep the clean sheet and keep adding to the goals. And it should be a quarterfinal for us. Abada gives it a moy. Hatate from range. Oh, by the way. I thought I was flying into the top corner. But uh, sadly not. Still free. 
Uh, let's think about making some changes here. Let's let's save some legs. O'Reilly seems tired, but we don't really have... Unless I do just chance bringing McGregor back a little bit early. Um, got to bring on Johnson for you now. I'm not going to risk red cards, so I'm going to make those changes. Do you know what? McGregor, I'm going to got to bring back probably premature t- to bring him back, but... I'm going to do it anyway. I'm also going to bring on Haxabanovic. Got to switch Jota to the right. We've got one sub left. We'll either bring on Kyogo or Alejandro Garnacho in the last sort of 15, 10 minutes of the game. We're in a good position. I don't want us to take our foot off the gas. I really don't. I'd love us to go up 4-0. 3-0 is fantastic. Not going to cry about it, but I would I would like one more. Um, should we, we'll leave Jota on for the hat-trick, and I'm going to bring Kyogo on up top. Who now not really done much? And that will finish off the game for us, hopefully 3 now. What a position to be in. If we can make it 4, I will sit here and I will guarantee that we're through the quarterfinals. We're not going to bottle a 4-0 lead over in Portugal. It's just not going to happen. I can already see the edits. Hacks <laughs> the manager. Finds Kyogo. His header's a good save from the keeper. I thought it was maybe going to slip by him. McGregor hacks it from range again. But it's into the hands of Matthias. I'll take the final whistle, ref. I will take the final whistle. I'd rather win 3-0 than risk conceding. And, and, and losing the free goal, because two goals, eh, still up for debate, but three's a good position to be in. Can we end the game, please? What is, oh my god, Starfelt's the howler, Lovakovic. Thank god that you're not, an, you're not an idiot. You're just, yeah, there we go. What a performance, eh? You cannot argue with that. Three nil up, one part of the job is done. I would be stunned if we bottle this now. I, I, honestly, I'd be I'd be really really stunned. There's the rest. There's the Champions League. So teams going through. Chelsea have put out PSG. Wow. Uh, Juventus have put out Frankfurt, Bayern are through. Liverpool are through. City are through. Milan are through. Napoli have put out Real Madrid in a four-one win, and Barcelona are through. In terms of Europa League scores, I'd like to see how everybody got on. How did you know Rangers and the likes get on? But I mean, all that matters is us. We are in a very good position heading in to the next round. Hopefully, Atletico look as though they could be through. Still all to play for there. United only up two-one. Lazio up three-one. Tottenham Rangers drew one all at Ibrox, and Feyenoord look as though they've papped out Fenerbahce. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Right, I've just realised that the next game is actually the quarterfinals for the Scottish Cup, but I'm going to play it off camera, um, just so the episode's not too long. We should be Hamilton away. I mean, come on, Tiff. They're eighth in the championship. I mean, come on. If we don't win, and if we're not through to Hamden, by the end of the, by me coming back on camera, that's the end of the series. Right there. Thanks very much, cheerio. So, I'll be back in a moment, uh, and then we'll get the semi-final draw done, and then we'll obviously play the second leg of the, the Braga affair. Oh, you couldn't write it. I've not even met... Just, just as soon as I finish saying that last sentence. Juranovic, three months. That's his season over. Juranovic's season is over. He has uh, fractured his leg, so he's basically broke his leg um, in training. I don't know what's happened. A tackle he made. It's his own fucking... Fu- it's not a Jordan Jones, man. Uh, right, fucking idiot. That's Juranovic out, and that's a massive blow to our, our chances at, at European football. Um, Johnson's good. We don't have any backup, really. Um, to Anzebi, I think, can kind of play right back, so worst comes to worst. But it's it's still a massive blow. It's a huge blow for us. Uh, so I'm kind of gutted about that. Season over for Juranovic. Thanks, mate. You've, you've done your best. I tell you what. <laughs> I wish that I kept the camera running. I probably should have kept the camera running, but after the score the equaliser, I was like, there's not even a fucking point in turning the back on. But that should not have been as difficult as it was. It, it really shouldn't have been. Hamilton took the lead. Um, we then equalised. They, we then scored what looked to be a winner. I was like, right, 15 minutes to go. Well, surely, if I, no, 88th minute, as you can see, Andy Ryan here, who got the double. <laughs> it went penalties. Right before a European game against Braga, it goes to penalties against Hamilton we had to win on penalties they only missed one Hamilton fans would be greeting in real life they would be fucking furious <laughs> no I'm sure they would be understanding we managed to win on penalties and what was a bizarre game I, I can't believe that the European hangover it, it, it exists in football manager it honestly it exists we are through to the semi-final nonetheless by the skin of our teeth uh, we will be joined by Aberdeen, Rangers and St. Johnston. 
So a pretty typical kind of Scottish Cup final four. Uh, the question is, who will we get? Will we avoid Rangers in the semis or will we have to... Remember, Rangers obviously beat us in the semi-final of the League Cup. No, it wasn't even the semi-final. I think it was like the quarter-final of the League Cup. Um, they beat us. I need to actually check what round it was they knocked us out. The draw is in a moment or two's time. So we'll, we'll have a look to see who we get. I don't want Rangers and I would rather them in the final. Um, because they've already stopped me from getting to... a. a, a Hamden before, there you go, we were knocked out in the quarter-final at Ibrox. So here we go, it is time for the draw, we'll do it in typical Rod Stewart fashion, reach in. Uh, so here we go, Celtic will play, it's going to be Rangers, isn't it? Let's go. <claps> Woohoo! Well done Ryan, you fucking jinxed it, you bastard. <laughs> We will play Rangers in the semi-final. Aberdeen will play St. Johnston. There you go. That's your that's your semi-finals arranged. 15th April. So a month's time from now, uh, we'll take on Rangers in the semi-final of the Scottish Cup. It means rescheduling as well. There you go. There's your new schedule. We have Rangers back-to-back, -back actually. So that'll be an episode. That'll be an episode. There you go. Blockbuster. Yeah, let's get out of our heads for now because we've got to focus on getting the job done against Braga. We're in a very good position, but we need to concentrate. I don't, I don't fucking believe it. He's just back. And he's out again. <laughs> McGregor has properly hit. I hope he's not developing injury prone. I really fucking hope not. Um, player traits. I don't see anything about injury prone, but... This cannot become, uh, oh, I mean, let's see, this goes all the way back to 2012, my god. Let's see, so since we've started this save, which is here, isn't it? He's been injured two days, two days, three days, ten days, three weeks, two days. And then now it's another one, or whatever. I, I cannot be bothered with McGregor getting another injury. It's not good. However, youth intake day, let's see, interesting, shite. Absolute shite. There is nobody here worth signing. Ali McIntosh, shite. What a disappointment. We need to upgrade our youth facilities. We really do. Anyway, it's time for Braga. <laughs> Simply put, I fucked this. Look at the amount of players on yellow card warnings that could potentially miss the next tie. <laughs> and look at the depth that we're allowed to use because... oh. Do you know what? If I get yellows, they get yellows. I'd rather they miss the first leg than the second leg, I think. But we are three nil up, so I'm like, is it worth? You know, let's get Burnley on, for example. Johnson needs to play. If he gets suspended, he gets suspended. I want to keep Carter Vickers on, but it's probably wise to just make the change, isn't it? Moy is a little bit tired, um. So I'm actually going to try. I'm going to make some attacking changes. Actually, I'm going to put Jota back on the right. I'm going to put Haxabanovic there. Garnacho can play through the middle. Um, he played through the middle the other night for United. He basically played up front the other night for United. So I'm actually going to play Garnacho in behind Unal. A bit of a change, but we can afford to make changes. Like, we're 3-0 up. We shouldn't be bottling this. We shouldn't be, on paper. And I got very cocky in the first leg. I did. I'll admit that. I got very, very cocky in the first leg. I said, that's a tie done. Yada, yada. But surely, to God, that has got to be the tie done. Like, how can we bottle it from here? 3-0 up. And we're in that lovely picturesque Braga Stadium. I've got my tea beside me. I would take a game with zero highlights if it means just going through. I, I will be honest with you. I will. I'll take a game with I'll take a a game with zero highlights. But much as a Braga are gonna try and pounce first. Clear. I will be enjoying my tea through this game. And it's 1-0. Oh god. Oh, God. Oh, it's disallowed. <laughs> when he's over, come on. Get in there. No, no. Brilliant. The referees across this tie. Brilliant. Wouldn't criticise them. <laughs> been, been absolutely fantastic, to say the least. Can we go up 1-0? Burnaby swings it in. Garnacho needs to reach it first. He does. He keeps it in. O'Reilly. Back to Garnacho. That was lovely from O'Reilly. Good thinking. What a ball. What a finish. That is. That was a Rabona cross. Oh. <laughs> I'm so proud of this team. 4 nil up. And <laughs> if only we could do this in real life. Eh? What a fucking world that would be. O'Reilly, that was so smart. But look at this. It's the Rabona. Oh, and then Hax is there. Right place, right time. Brilliant. 
Now, that reminds me, just thinking of the word Rabona. Have any seen the clip of that? I can't remember his name, the YouTuber, and he's like watching the top fly, five sports players of all time, and it's like uh, uh, of the week. And Lamela's goal, the Rabona goal, was like number one. And he thinks he says a boner. He's like, it's got a boner? <laughs> he's going, it's the number one play because he has an erection? Like, has anybody else seen that? Fucking love it. What have I do? Look it up. Just type in like Lamela Boner or something like that and you'll find it. Yo, I go on 2-0. I'm, I'm getting carried away here. Talking about absolute nonsense. But there we go. It's tie over. It's 5-0 in aggregate. Book your flights, boys, to the quarterfinals. I don't, well, don't yet because we don't know who we've drawn. But that is silly from Braga and Jota who scores his third goal of the tie. A hat-trick across both games. We're living it up. Alexa, play me. Oh, don't. Stop listening. Ma what the Matilda by Harris? No, I'll get copyrighted. Alexa, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a there's a moment. There's a Matilda by Harry Styles. Christ, we'll all be greeting if we listen to Matilda by Harry Styles. Um, don't know why it thought I said that. Though no, that's, I mean, I didn't even speak on. Anyway, we're five 0 up. Arsenal are pounding Atletico Madrid. By the way, I don't know if you've seen that. Um, but with all the changes we've made, I'm glad we've not got a book in either, which is good. I'm hoping that we actually you can instruct the team not to like stay on your feet. Yeah, let's not get any bookings. We don't need bookings now. It's the last thing we need is a yellow card. Um, because we've not got a lot of depth in Europe. That's my own fault, and I'll take full responsibility for that. Um, but I, wow, right, there seems to be a highlight here, but nothing seems to be going on, Andre Horta, or Braga going to try and fight their way back into this tie at 5-0 down, I said stay on your feet, Jota, that he's ran through the whole team, wow, that is embarrassing, that's embarrassing, he's, he's just ran through the entire team, I don't even want to rewatch it, but look, is it Hatati? I thought it was Jota, sorry. Hatati dives in and Starfelt, don't know what you're doing, mate. And he's left Lavakovic for dead, really. Um, don't know what changes to make. We are in a good position. I'd like to win this game as well, though. I, I wouldn't want to draw or lose. I mean, we are through, there's no doubt about it, but I still want to win the actual game itself. They seem to be getting stuck right in us now. They see a game. Oh my god, he's busting it. It's two each. Holy moly. What's going on here? That is an absolute screamer of a goal, by the way. Um, but we've collapsed. We were up 2-0. What is going on, boys? We look, we look nervous all of a sudden as well. Um, and, and and Braga just seem to be kicking us. They need three goals. One more would do me for, for, for our team. <laughs> but they need three. The time might not be over yet. You never know. 5-2 win for Braga to send it to extra time. That would be fucking bizarre. Um, here's Horta. I don't like that they're suddenly seeing so much of the ball. Like, it's kind of worrying me a little bit. Like, why have we suddenly... I need to fire this mob up. Because we seem scared. I said, oh, fucking hell. Lovakovic just holds on to it at the end. Holy moly. Let's get some... Let's get some different players on the park. Let's get Kyogo on. Let's get... Liela Bada on. Jamesy Forrest. Uh, Aaron Moy's a bit tired, but do you know what? Let's bring him on. We'll make those three subs for now. And and just just see out the game, you know what I mean? Let's be cautious. And see it out. Braga really got themselves into it. We'll bring on Greg. Greg, don't get booked, because Johnson's knackered, and I've, I've only got the one right back now. Ah, oh, don't get booked, Greg. Whatever you do, do not get booked. Just stay on your fucking feet. A badass captain, by the way. Great ball. Keeper just decides to come out and, and punt it. Um, Taylor. That's a great ball. That is a really good ball. And that's some finish from Kyogo. I think it was onside as well. That is unbelievable. That is what you call a goal right there. Greg Taylor with pass of the season, perhaps. That was Rooney to Van Persie-like almost. Look at this. Doesn't even think about it. Oh, the touch and turn from Kyogo. He's like, start me, boss. Start me. That's what that was. What a finish. And is that the game winner? Does that mean that we're going to see the win that I wanted from this game? 3-2 up. 6-2 on aggregate. We have been doing well in Europe this season. Get me in the fucking dugout in real life. I'm going to apply for the job, man. Here's Diego Lainez. Come on, let's not let's not throw away a win. Another win in Europe is good on the statistics. Oh, he's at the post rebounder. 3-H. 3-H. 
Yeah, that's what it is. Vitinha was, was in the right place at the right time. You can't argue with that. Three each. Just don't lose the game now, boys. We are through, but don't lose the game. That would be that'd be annoying. Let's just make one quick change. And there we go. That's that. What a game of football. Three all here in Portugal, but we're through. And that is ultimately what matters. We are through to the next round. Let's have a look. So, what the hell has happened there? Arsenal 7-0 winners against Atletico Madrid. 9-4 on aggregate. Christ. They took it. Per they took the loss personally. It's like the Michael Jordan meme. Uh, Roma are through. They've knocked out Porto. Tottenham are through an extra time. Uh, but the looks of things. We are through, of course. Final go through 5-1. Rangers are out on penalties. Wow. United through. Lazio through. So there you go. There's all your teams through to the next round. I would quite fancy rain. I'll, I'll tell you that for nothing. I would quite fancy rain. Let's do this draw and end off the episode. Right, okay. It's it's the big one. This is at the quarter final draw for the Europa League. Man United, Tottenham, us, Ren, Arsenal, Feyenoord, Lazio and Roma are the teams remaining. I think if I was to pick any, it'd be Ren uh, or Feyenoord. I think that's the two that I'd like. But we've showed that we can beat big teams. I, w I would like to maybe avoid the English sides from now. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Man United are the first team out. They will take on Tottenham. Okay, all English tie. That's good. I like that. Let the English teams knock each other out. Now let Arsenal play like... See, to be fair, out of all the teams left, bar Arsenal, because I think they will be difficult to beat in this game, everybody else, I think we can beat. I really do. But we'll just have to wait and see. So uh, Celtic, okay, we're going to be at home first. Which is okay, because it's worked now twice for us. Celtic will take on... Yes, come on! Get in there, Ren, get in! Love that, love that. That's okay, right, I shouldn't be celebrating too hard, because if they knock me out, I'll look like a dick. But that is good. Arsenal will take on Feyenoord. Lazio will take on... Who are they take on? Roma! Oh my god, Lazio and Roma! And oh, oh, oh. oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. In the Europa League... Quarterfinals, Lazio will play Roma. Right. Ren though. And now it's time for the semi-final draw. So we'll get to see if we beat Ren who we will be playing. So I hope it's not United or Tottenham. I kinda hope it's Lazio or Roma, to be quite honest. Man United or Tottenham will take on Arsenal or Feyenoord. There you go. There's a chance of another all English game. This is going well. Which means we'll either play Lazio or Roma, but we're away from home first though. Wow. Right, okay, so the path is set. The path is clear now. We beat Ren and we take on one of the Rome sides. Oh my god. Right, what an interesting turn of events. Can we go and win this Europa League? Whiplash, are you taking the piss, Maida? Whiplash, what have you been doing? Fucking Formula One, for Jesus. That's the end of the episode. Cheerio.